everybody. My name is Heidi Kähkönen. I'm the co-founder of Fixari, and we bring local on-demand tech help for the elderly. Now, think about the last time somebody close to you asked you for help with their computer, mobile phone, or tablet. Well, that happens to me weekly. Meet my mother. She calls me every week to ask something about her devices, and I usually help her the next time I go visit her, but it might take some time to get there. And the problem is happening now. And it is not just my mother. There are almost 5 million people over the age of 65 in the Nordics alone, and two-thirds of them utilize the internet regularly. At the same time, services are going digital. So two years ago, this got me thinking. What if we could bring the elderly people together with trustworthy youth in their neighborhood to solve this massive problem? And this is how Fixari got started. So how does it work? The customer can summon a Fixari by a simple phone call. With a little magic, our system connects the call directly to the nearest active Fixari. So the Fixari arrives to the customer's home, solves the problems, and reports back to us. The customer then gives feedback of the visit so we know what's been going on. So the Fixaris are simply sociable, friendly, local, digital natives. They're mostly students, so they want to work locally and flexibly. And because they want flexibility, we contract them as freelancers. And these things are why we are different from the competition. So we have optimized every aspect of our service to suit the needs of the elderly people. Because of our expanding Fixari network, we can offer help locally, which makes us fast and efficient. We have gathered data from over 500 customer visits, and so we know that our average customer rating is 4.9 out of 5. The average price of a visit is 45 euros. From that, we take a 25% slice, and the Fixari, the person helping, gets over half of the fee. And over 98% of our customers would recommend us. Currently, we are growing organically. Also, 56% of our customers are returning customers, so they use us within a first visit within a year. So the market potential here is huge. We aim to become the market leader, and by 2018, we expect to hit the run rate of 1.5 million euros. And these numbers are quite modest, considering the size of the problem. So, at the moment, we are opening up new customer acquisition channels and the pre-seed round of funding at Slush. So, our team has extensive experience from working with the elderly people. On top of that, I used to work for Slush, and uh, I have a background in journalism and teaching. I also studied web development in San Francisco. My co-founder, Bake, is already a serial entrepreneur, and he has been running the operations at a 1.5 million euro fund under a startup foundation. So if you believe in what we do, please come and find us after the pitch. We are looking for funding and corporate partners to expand our network. We are Fixari. My name is Heidi Kähkönen. Thank you. Thank you. Just a couple of quick questions, yeah, please. So, so these, uh, there's a, you know, some fixeries, unfortunately, being built in almost every country in the world, and we've seen some of them. Uh, one of the international problems have been when they become big that that uh, quite many tend to, uh, you know, go to the their local fixery uh, not through your service uh, on repeat business, but actually say that hey, just ping me and you can get the full amount yourself. Uh, and so forth. So, uh, do you have found ways to avoid that kind of risk? Yes, we have several ways to uh, grow the Fixari loyalty to our, our, our platform. So, first of all, we make uh, payments easy. So, when the Fixari gets the fee, we pay the taxes from that. So, if they want to work legally, then of course we take care of that. If they want to work illegally, we can't help that. But also, we are bringing uh, in a platform that helps them solve the problems easier. So they get recommendations from this smart system because it already knows the previous problems that have been solved and how they've been solved. Also, as I've worked for Slush, we're building community here. And I know a thing or two about building communities. So it's nice for the fixeries to come back to us because there's a community waiting for them. I think you obviously address uh, a need, and it's fun to see that you have such 
positive reactions from your users, but still I think um, a visit price of close to 50 euro, isn't that quite high for elderly people? Do you think you can sustain that? Well, actually the visit price is 40 euros per an hour, but we have a minimum charge of 20 euros. So if it's just plugging in a cable in five minutes, then it's just 20 euros, so that makes it very accessible. We're also working with municipalities to make this a service they offer to their um, citizens. All right, thank you, Heidi. Yes, we will move on.